More than a month after Russia's war in Ukraine began, one Las Vegas man remains on the ground in a war zone, trying to help as many orphans as he can to survive. And today, a bomb landed on his main orphanage's playground. Hello, and thanks for joining us tonight. Live at 11, I'm Trisha Kane. Dave Carassier has a night off. Reporter Sean Delancey talked with Mark Davis about his mission to save innocent lives in Ukraine. I talked with Mark Davis the first day that Russian troops entered Ukraine. That day he said that there was no way soldiers would enter his town of Mykolaiv. Sadly, he was wrong, and now his orphanage has been shelled along with many others that he's trying to protect with everything that he's got. Fair warning, some of these images will be hard to watch. There you go. Look. Say hi. <laughs> the faces of innocence at war, smiling despite Russian aggression. It's the goal of Mark Davis, a Las Vegas man trying to bring a little light to these orphans' lives amidst unspeakable horrors. We're looking at what's... The, pardon me. <clears throat> you know, when there's something you can't even imagine, having come into your consciousness of being a possibility, it's hard to, to imagine the evil that we're truly seeing. Horrors like his largest and thankfully evacuated orphanage in Mykolaiv bombed, shells landing in the playground, shattering windows. This orphanage in central Ukraine converted into a shelter as air raid sirens blast around the clock. These orphans with special needs, with few options for escape from the country, and in eastern Russian-controlled territory. The One of the main orphanages we helped rebuild everything in it, the roof, the heating system, electrical, medicine supplies, the people we love there. Um, they have now gone dark. Davis says more than a half million dollars in support for Abundance International has helped them do what they can, buying food, gas, and other supplies in safe territory and delivering to desperate shelters. Knocking on the doors and saying, what do you guys need? And them saying, can you do this? And we say, yes, we can. And it's because of the hearts and love of, of, of you all, all in America. Davis still fears the kids will be forgotten, the money will dry up, and his growing support network will fall apart. <laughs> Davis says so far he has been able to expand his support from three orphanages to more than 20, but with 146 facilities across the country, he fears it's not enough. If you want to help, we've got info over at KTNV.com. Reporting in the studio, I'm Sean Delancey.